Do you always disturb the peace at 3 o'clock in the morning? Are religious bigots just always that obnoxious? You haven't set fire to any bushes lately, have you? God said a woman should be silent in public. Are you capable of that? I can't see shit. The phone's better than my eyes. There was recently a bitch, and I reported to the police and everything and shit, that poured gas on a bush and lit it on fire right next to me. And no one explained anything to me. It's... And we're we're we are up the street from the part where they tried to kill me for being a faggot. Bimbo. I don't think that's the same woman, though. The woman looked like a fucking military. She had a buzz cut like a dyke. <clears throat> Which I thought was ironic as fuck, but I don't know what was going on. I call, I call the police fucking immediately. Arson's not something you wanted to deal with. Didn't say a fucking word. Just decided to pour gas on a shrub, light it the fuck on fire right by where I was, was that a signal? Was that one step away from a cross burning? But that bitch is fucking crazy. But they're all the same. That's the fucking problem. America's infested with these idiot religious bigot motherfuckers. And they're obnoxious, and they're rude, and they're stupid, and they voted for Trump. But that got my attention. Fucking, we're, we're one step away from a cross burning. And some of my stalkers, Lou Stefano, is known to do podcasts in clans robes. And he's a flagrant, flagrant Nazi. So, uh, what's well, Raging Mob's real name? Fuck it, um... Oh, I don't give enough of a fuck, but that is something I should support. Greg Swamp. Greg Swamp, another two nerf flagrant Nazis. And white bitches, it's three something in the morning. And this bitch is fucking on one. <clears throat> probably literally, <clears throat> probably tweaking nuts. But the next time someone has the bright idea of doing a burning next to me, we're going to have an issue. The fucking detectives actually called me and met up with me a second time after that night and had like showed me a book of suspects and tried to get me to ID one, but I couldn't fucking they didn't I couldn't I didn't see a picture of her in there. But that was literally the next park up. Literally. Like I I moved down one park. Over Yar. Mm. I've been kind of concerned about that for a second, but what am I going to do? I had no warning. No one explained anything to me. I actually, I actually walked that back all the way back in like 2019, the local gang stalkers confronted me and said they were going to run me out of town and told me to fucking get lost. And like a dozen times or more than that since, random strangers come up and talk to me and warned me about them hating. But <laughs> I can't really say I haven't heard anything else about it. I've just, I've just gotten jaded to it. Is, is that good? I, I don't actually come to think of it. They did tell me they were going to run me out of town. But, um... I don't know. 